Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I just wanted to show you a few pickups I got real quick. Haven't done a pickup video in a while, and um, we were driving by, Beth and I were driving by a garage sale today, and we stopped, and um, at this point I kind of wish I didn't, but anyhow, I, I saw a couple things, and, and I'll show them off real quick. So, from the garage sale, I always want to pick up one of these from my childhood, but I never seem to come across them, and this was in good shape, it had the back. Uh, sadly, the sound doesn't work for some reason, so I don't know if there's an easy fix for that. It's one of those stupid Tiger LCD handhelds that look horrible and sound horrible, but when you were a kid back in, I don't know, I guess I was probably about between 6 or 7 and like 12, this was like a big deal. A lot, a lot of um, different companies had licensed out their names to to Tiger, who also eventually made the GameCom and the R Zone, and you know, for Christmas and birthdays and things, you get video games, which were awesome, or sometimes you'd get a Tiger handheld. And I had a bunch as a kid, like Double Dragon. I think I had Street Fighter was really fun. The Street Fighter one I had, I remember, had like cards, and you could swipe the cards and unlock things in the game. But I always loved Mortal Kombat. The guy wanted three bucks, so I picked it up, uh, just kind of for nostalgia purposes. And like I said, it works, but for some reason the sound doesn't work. So I may, you know, open it up and take a look and see if there's anything I can do. But who knows. Um, the other thing I bought from him, he wanted $3 for that and $20 for this item I'm about to show you. I told him $20 for both and he did it. I don't know if I had gotten the best deal, especially because this is kind of finicky, but I got a PS1 with the screen. And the screen is the tough part to come by. Anytime I see these, they go for about 80 bucks or so. Um, the system's in nice shape. I haven't really tested it yet. I did test the screen really quickly because it did, it did come in with the power plug, not a uh, controller. And the screen works if you have it there. If it's pushed up further, it's like a loose wire and it just starts like flickering. So I, I may open this up. You know who I wish lived around me? Kevin Twiner. He'd be able to fix this. But so I'll probably just lean it back a little or maybe I'll open it up and see if anything's a little loose. Um, but you know, for 20 bucks for both, I thought it was cool. It kind of sucks that that doesn't have sound and this, the screen flickers, but you know, you'll live and learn. What are you gonna do? It's not the end of the world. Um, I also picked up online, this was from, I wanna say Amazon or eBay, I wanna say Amazon. Um, and this I had always wanted and what pushed me over the edge to get it were Retro Carter, Ben's um, Sega Saturn videos and Gunstar Heroes, Adam, my, fr my friend Adam Nelson, um, he did a very great in-depth review on this Cyberbots on the Sega Saturn. This eventually came to, I think, PlayStation as well, but in Japan only on the Saturn, I think. And it's like a Cap, it's a great Capcom fighter. Um, if you played, I think like Marvel vs. Capcom and stuff, there are some like characters from that in the, in this. This is where they come from. Also, it was in the Capcom vs. SNK Card Fighters Clash. A lot of the characters in that are from this game. So it's a really cool robot mech fighting game, very fast. I also picked up, and this was from eBay, I believe, the Dreamcast Japanese version of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure matchmaking. And the matchmaking was the online version that you could play. The reason I picked this one up, and this one is more expensive than the other version I have, is because JoJo uh, Bizarre Adventure on Dreamcast in America and Dreamcast in Japan doesn't work VGA. Even though on the back it says it, it supports the VGA cable, it doesn't. But this version does, and this is the matchmaking service which is harder to come by, um, and the Japanese version as I said. So I picked this up, this is another really great Capcom fighting game, quirky characters, really weird, sort of reminiscent to like Guilty Gear, but I wanted it and I haven't really played it much, so I picked this up. And then finally, I'm going to show a couple movies. GoHastings.com is one of my favorite places to buy movies and stuff online. They always have great deals. Sometimes they'll jack their prices up and then give you a coupon, but for the most part, they have like 30% off, 25% off, 40% off, buy one, get one free, blah, blah, blah. So I went on when they were having 30% off, and I was able for, I think it was $9 to get, I think it was actually 35% off at this point, Leprechaun, the complete set. So this Blu-ray set is Leprechaun 1, 2, 3, 4, 
Leprechaun in the Hood, Leprechaun Back to the Hood, and the new one, which was the WWE one with Hornswoggle, which takes a, it's, it came out like a year ago, I think, and I saw it on, um, I downloaded a digital copy and watched it with Beth for free at one point. It was pretty bad, that the new one, it was kind of, um, if you've never seen the Leprechaun movies, they start out kind of creepy, but more humorous, then they get full-blown goofy. The, the new one with Hornswoggle is just very serious, it's like a serious horror movie, and the Leprechaun looks nothing like a Leprechaun, it looks like something out of Blade. It looks like some weird imp demon thing. So that was kind of a letdown, but for all uh, seven films for like nine bucks, they're almost a dollar each. So pick that up, that was used. Uh, all this was used actually, everything here. And then this is normally about 40 to 50 bucks. Um, I think I spent 30, and that is the Halloween Blu-ray box set. This is all the theatrical editions and then the unrated version of um, the two Rob Zombie films, which I had already, so I'm just gonna sell those. And, um, you know, it's all the discs on their own. Separate discs, I think. Yep, they're all separate so far. Yeah, they're all separate. Here's a spider landing on video. Look at that, he's famous. So, um, all the Blu-rays are in here. And the, the only thing is they did do a limited edition, like a deluxe edition of this with 15 discs. That one's like 80 or or $100, I think. Um, and that one has unrated and new cuts in certain films. I'm not that, I like Michael Myers and Halloween a lot, but I'm not like some crazy like horror, horror buff. So I didn't mind just getting these and for 30 bucks, that was a great deal. And then for another 20, so overall right here, these two I ordered together, I spent $53 with shipping. And I got The Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, seven film, box set. Is it seven film? One, two, three, four, six films, excuse me. No, it says seven here. Yeah, seven. And this comes with uh, the original Nightmare on Elm Street and then two and three on one disc and then four and five, Freddy's Dead, New Nightmare, and this is just like a bonus disc here. Um, so for 50 bucks for both sets, I thought I got a pretty good deal. This doesn't come with Freddy vs. Jason, which is fine. And this doesn't come with the new Nightmare on Elm Street with uh, Jackie Earl Healy or whatever his name is from Watchmen. That one I already have actually, so that didn't bother me. And the Freddy vs. Jason comes in the Jason box set, the Friday the 13th set. So if I ever get that on Blu-ray, I'll have that anyway. So I thought I got some pretty good deals here, minus the stuff from the garage sale kind of, unless I can fix them. And um, yeah, I think, I think Cyberbots wasn't bad price-wise. This was probably the most, it was like 30 or 40 bucks which was kind of high for me. But um, yeah, I got some cool stuff and I got all these these great horror Blu-rays in time for Halloween. Uh, I don't think I have really any of these on DVD, so that was cool. I don't like double dipping usually if I can help it. And uh, that's really it. So there's a little pickups video for everyone. I don't do them very often because I try not to buy too much anymore. But thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. And if you have any hints for me or tips on how to fix the sound on the LCD handheld, or fix the screen on the PS1, please let me know. Be good, guys.